An Australian man has won a near five-year legal battle with home affairs over his citizenship after it wrongly claimed he was Papua New Guinean. The landmark judgment recommended he be given a rare ex gratia payment for the economic and emotional toll. It also has potential implications for many Australians born before PNG independence. From a routine passport renewal to the prospect of immigration detention and being left stateless. Almost five years ago, Australian immigration officials told Troy Lee he wasn't an Australian citizen, despite holding a passport for decades. I thought this is, this is just a purely small mistake. Um, but yeah, absolutely shocked and, and very confused. Born in Papua New Guinea in 1975, just months before the country's independence, as a child, he moved with his naturalised Australian parents to Brisbane. Educated in Australia, he then moved as an Australian citizen to Taiwan for work. In 2017, a letter from then Immigration Minister Peter Dutton confirmed the department's position that he was Papua New Guinean. It's basically you, you're, you know, you're, 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 you're you're like nobody. With lawyer Michael Chan, he took them on in court. The full bench of the federal court unanimously upheld Troy Lee's Australian citizenship and recommended he get a rare ex gratia payment for the psychological and financial impacts. The judges said the department and successive ministers were mistaken in their interpretation of the Citizenship Act, but hadn't acted in bad faith. How are you? Troy was unable to yeah. travel back to his wife and child in Taiwan. No, no, no. How are you? <laughs> of course you could. Yeah, so how was your day? Where he'd been working as an engineer on fast trains. Okay, okay bye. Banned from bye. working in Australia, he started digging for evidence of his citizenship. And, and, and this one has the Australian coat of arms on it. And this is what they t told my mum that this was sufficient to prove that I was an Australian citizen and I didn't need to do any more else at the time. Home Affairs hadn't checked if Troy was a citizen of PNG, so he did. This is a, a letter from the foreign government to... to from the Papua New Guinea consulate saying consul. that he's not, a, not one, of, one of them. It was ignored by the department. He could have been left stateless. And there was more to come. We'll have to uh, arrest you, put you in detention. I said, well, hang on. I, I still haven't done anything wrong. Troy's barrister helped immigration draft the current Citizenship Act and says this is not an isolated case. I think this court case is a vindication. We are seeing more and more in decisions of the department where it errs on the side of exclusion rather than inclusion. And that, to me, is not consistent with the objects of the Citizenship Act. Home Affairs, in a response to SBS questions, said the Immigration Minister, Alex Hawke, is currently considering the implications of the judgment. I don't think the minister will apologise, uh, nor will I think the department. How do, how do I, how does anybody trust the department, you know? Uh, and, and then it, it got me thinking that how many of these cases have, have they got wrong? Troy is applying for a seven-figure ex gratia payment and now just wants to return to his family in Taiwan. Yeah, so it's good to get that back finally. Um, and this is, this is all just because of a, a, a blue book. Stefan Armbruster. SBS World News.